what's going on thanks for checking out my next drawing video and also don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you haven't now for this video i'm going to be drawing peter griffin from family guy and combining him and making drawing him in the style from the grappler baki series and with, for this one it was pretty challenging because it's a different style and it's like a cartoon uh well both of them are cartoons and but the family guy is more of a simplistic style compared to baki's more dynamic and detailed style drawing with muscles and and veins going everywhere but what i did with this was i tried to make peter griffin's face uh kind of not fairly realistic it was just how i think he would probably look in the baki series by just making him kind of like one of those sumo wrestler types and kind of just uh i guess flowing and going with that that's why i kind of just i was i was deciding where i was going to add a shirt and his pants but i decided to just give him like the the sumo wrestler outfit with the little rope thing on his around his waist and as far as the muscles are concerned there were uh, a lot of sumo there were sumo wrestlers in the book also so i kind of go based on that as far as where in those sumo wrestlers in that series the the arms and the legs are like the most detailed thing and then you will have the the stomach like the gut and then the the chest area and but you also had some sumo wrestlers in the book in baki's book that also had the the abs and everything but i went more with the basic the the belly and then uh his arms are kind of ripped not not too ripped that's why i didn't get too detailed with the arms but just ripped enough to just match what was going on with the the other style so i, I can kind of gave him his the typical round glasses and then i kept his hair the same and his, the the trick was kind of just maintaining the same look from the show with his face just keeping the basic key things the keep his face looking exactly like how it does in the in the original look as far as the hair the glasses um the chin i think the main thing i tried to keep was the chin because i wanted to make sure that the chin has that little the little kind of like a little butt chin so i made sure made sure i try to keep that in there now right now i'm just detailing the the arms adding in all the inks with the fine liner pen and when I was, I was before I was deciding to do this, I was going to color it, but I didn't know where I was going to either color it or just do it in the typical gray style that I've been doing in the previous uh, drawings. I decided to just go with the gray, the the style with this, the same as the previous ones with the um, the brush markers. So right now, I'm just getting the hair in with the the pen. It's like a it's a, it's a double sided pen. It has a a heavy brush tip on the back side of the pen and a thin kind of a thin brush on the f the front part of it and i kind of use this pen a lot for a lot of my drawings and i'm just darkening everything adding all the inks in there and it kind of looking at kind of now it looks kind of kind of weird has have his his face in there I want to kind of wonder how it would be if he was in the actual show doing his thing. And I also tried to, I tried to add the scars too, to kind of just show, hey, well, this, I mean, it's, I guess it's if uh, Baki was a, a sumo wrestler with the face of Peter Griffin, I still get the, the scars in there. Show that he's been through some crazy intense training also. And if, if I if I drew him from the backside, I probably would have drew the the little demon back that that him and and his father Yuji Ruhama has. So right now I'm adding in the the shadows and the markers, just placing where all the shadows would be on the on the muscles. And for this one, I think I, I didn't really do a base shadow for this one. I kind of just went in with the the darker colors. Just because since uh, most sumo wrestlers are pretty um, 
pretty tan from what it seems. I kind of made it a little bit, a little darker as far as the shading. And right now I'm just going in and just do my usual thing where I'm just overlaying over top of the other color, the other shade. To get the details in more. And when I was doing that rope on the bottom, I didn't know whether I was going to either make the the bow. I know some of the sumo wrestlers had the bow on the back, like the little rope bow attached to the waist. But I was like, no, I'm not going to change. I'm not going to add that. I was going to add something else. I think I was going to put pants on them. But no, I decided to keep it straightforward with the, the giant rope. And, and uh, bending down in this little pose. The uh, sumo stance. I'm just darkening it up. And also, maybe if there's maybe some other characters that you want to see mashed up or some other um, different combinations you want to see, and let me know in the comments if you want to see some more of those and or some other other weird little uh, um, character fusion. Let me start everything up. Adding in all the, the darks now. That's the thing about coloring and shading is just it's just so many layers. You're adding them all on. But in the long run, once you get them all down, then it will uh, start to look better. I think later on I might end up adding a a background. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna have them standing outside or inside of a dojo in the back. Make sure I get the shade the scars up. All right, that's it for this video. Want to see more videos like this? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. All right, take care.